happy Friday, good morning, and happy Mommy Parole Weekend. I get asked this in every single vlog, is what do I say at the beginning of every weekend vlog? I say happy Mommy Parole, like from, from jail. Um, vlog, happy Mommy Parole Weekend. Um, it started off as a joke, kind of like, hey, I don't have my kids this weekend, so we're gonna get into some shenanigans. And then it just kind of stuck. Um, I say it really fast just because I talk really fast, but low key, okay, more like high key, it offends a lot of people. <laughs> what do people not get offended about these days? So I could just kind of like zip through it in case someone might get offended, then they just casually miss it. Do you wanna say good morning? Go for it. Do your monologue. Do your morning monologue. What are you gonna say? So this weekend, it's the weekend before my big Hulk party extravaganza celebration. Um, and so there's a lot of stuff I need to do, like buy some sodas and beer, and uh, I need to go to my P.O. box. I need to make a couple errands. Make? Don't make. <laughs> Get done with some errands. I need to do some errands so that I can complete them so I don't have more errands to make. You know what I'm... Yes, all moment. Okay, so it's 10 o'clock. Today's Friday. Parker's at work. Um, I have some errands to do. I just made myself breakfast. I'm going to show you guys in a second. And then tomorrow, I think Parker wants me to run some errands with him. And then Sunday, I don't know. Basically, it's a weekend of planning, but not really. Like, it's more grown-up-y stuff we need to do. Um, so this morning, I was kind of hungry, but I was more productive than hungry. So I went around my house and um, I've had a lot of photos in my Costco photo cart for a long time and I just keep adding them and adding them but I never pull the trigger on printing them. So yesterday I was like, okay, enough is enough. The pictures in my home are stale. I need to swap some out. I need to rearrange some frames and all of the plain panels or like walls in my house have sort of... Um, art gallery, no, photo gallery, <laughs> photo gallery, not art, <laughs> um, sort of like a photo gallery look, so none of the frames match, they're all out of order, just a bunch of random pictures, candid moments that I like to have around my home. Um, I think it really makes my house feel like a home, you know? Um, just like a random picture of like my son in a Halloween costume or one of my kids like lifting up a shirt and being silly, you know, just those moments. There's a picture that's one of my favorites. Um, I enrolled my kids in swimming classes uh, last uh, year around springtime, almost summer. And I would put them in their trunks in swim diaper and just go to swim class. And so they would walk up to the classroom in just trunks and the swim diaper and their little tan skin was just hanging out and they'd have little sandals on so I just thought it was so cute like the backs of them walking away together holding their towels and their little swim trunks it just it's one of those little when you want to capture that moment and then put it up in your home and get to relive it every day so anyway enough of that corniness so just kind of a productive weekend I told Parker that I wanted to have sort of like a lazy weekend um because we've been cramming a lot of stuff into weekends um, just to get things done because things need to get done. Um, but I'm, I don't wanna burn out and I don't wanna burn out 10 weeks before summer break. You know, that's when I need to be on it. So this morning, um, Parker actually meal prepped at my house last weekend and he left me a steak. I never ate it during the week because I was so busy during lunchtime. So um, I found it in the fridge and I was like, steak and eggs? Don't mind if I do. Anyway, the point of that was we woke up early. He went to work and I was just super productive. I was running on coffee, moved around pictures, cleaned my house. I had to change some air filters, did some things in my office. Um, and finally right now I'm like, I'm kind of starving. So I just fried two eggs and then um, the steak. Parker, what he does is he leaves his steaks rare, like I mean really rare, um, because he microwaves his lunch at work. And so it does kind of like that carryover cooking. So all I did was I diced it up and I sauteed it in the same pan before the eggs. So I just use one pan essentially. And then I have some tortillas in here and that's it. We're going to eat. I'll jump in the shower and then we'll head out and get some errands done. I think Parker wanted to go to a pub tonight. Um, so we might check that out. I don't know if it's today or tomorrow. Oh, also we have to do HelloFresh, which I'm really excited about because I took a long break from doing HelloFresh. And a lot of you guys kept asking me, which I didn't realize how much you guys liked it. So I'm really looking forward to doing that with you guys. Um, anyway, so um, for HelloFresh, we have a pork tenderloin, we have a chicken quesadilla, and then we have a hamburger, a, like, a, like a very unique 
kind of special type of burger. So we'll see which one we make. Maybe we can make both and we don't have to go out this weekend to eat. Haha, <laughs> psych. and a little OOTD. Um, I'm barely heading out the door. Um, I have my little charger cable because my battery on my camera is dying. I have my whole life together today, you guys, I promise. So I showed you guys how I was assembling this little rack. Do you guys ever order something without reading the description and then you build it or it arrives and you're a little underwhelmed or deflated or disappointed, maybe just a little bit? So I'm doing a spring break haul for you guys and I wanted to order this little rack, but um, tall people problems. <laughs> the rack needs to be about two feet longer so that none of my clothes drags. But anyway, there's a little sneak peek. So we're heading out the door. Um, I don't think we're going to be able to do as much as I would hope or wanted to. Um, we're going to try and go to the PO box, DSW, and then Target and come home. But it's one o'clock now and Parker gets off of work at two. So he might get here before I do, but that's okay. <laughs> Anyway, outfit of the day, it's nothing special. I mean, today the special thing is my makeup of the day. I'm going for like an ultra glam look. If you guys are wondering about my nail polish, it's a Boom Boom Room from Essie. And then my outfit of the day is a little, uh, just nothing special. It's a denim jacket from Target and then this dress that I wore to death last year um, from Nordstrom. I have it in like three different colors. Um, it's actually a really um, convenient dress because you could wear it with heels. Right now you could see I'm wearing it with white kicks, um, but it's one of those dresses that looks really, really cute with like wedges, sandals, sneakers, anything you wear. Um, I love to pair it with just a classic denim jacket um, and it is sleeveless, so if you guys are um, warm natured, you have options. Um, I don't know what the weather is like outside. Last I checked, it was like in the 70s. So I thought this would um, suffice. If I get hot, I could just wrap it around my waist. And there it is, you guys, a little OOTD. You guys! Okay, so I'm here for a check-in. It's kind of cool. It's kind of lame. So the whole plan was to go to DSW, my PO box, and then Target, right? So I was at DSW making a return slash exchange and the girl was kind of taking a long time um, and when an associate, when a retail associate is struggling with something, there is nothing worse you can do than be like, <sighs> you know, like acting like they're an inconvenience for you because working retail myself um, you have to realize that you don't know how to do everything and every situation is different. Every transaction is different. Every person's demeanor or energy is different. So that affects you as well. Plus not to mention that anxiety that like, um, what is that, uh, called like stage fright? So every single customer that you get, you get like a new kind of stage fright cause you don't know what's gonna like what the scenario is gonna be right anyway so I tried to occupy myself by cleaning up my purse <laughs> so I was just like cleaning out my purse reading some receipts and I realized I have my little purse with me and so I was like I wonder if I have my PO box key y'all I was gonna roll up to the PO box without my key and then what am I gonna do? I'm actually curious to see if they're willing to give me my mail as long as I show them my ID kind of thing, you know? Cause there has to be a way. What happens if you lose the key? You have to pay to replace it obviously because it's like government property or whatever, but they should give you access I think to your mailbox. But you know, the PO, uh, the post office, everything takes 
unnecessarily long. Like, it's like the DMV. It's slow intentionally. <laughs> so anyway, um, the, the bad news is I don't have my P.O. Box key. So I'm kind of like a dog with the tail between my legs, like heading in a different direction at this point. Good news is I went in to return and exchange. Like I had two pairs of shoes. I wanted to return one and exchange the other. And I ended up doing a double exchange. <laughs> I'm the worst! You guys want to see? We're at a stoplight right now. So I went in to do a return and an exchange and I ended up coming home with two returns, or rather two exchanges. This is the first one. So cute, right? I'm gonna totally feature this in my spring break haul. And then the other one is, oh my gosh. We have like five seconds, five seconds you guys. You guys are gonna die! Look at these! Oh my goodness! Aren't they precious? The cutest ever! Okay, so I'm gonna have to put these on later and show you. In fact, it is so hot right now, obviously I took off my jacket, that I might have to get home and just swab out my sandals, or I might just do it in the car. So, that's the story of my life. I failed miserably at the P.O. Box, but I think I'm gonna go anyway because I have to drop off um, a few giveaway prizes. Um, yeah, you guys, I'm gonna give away prizes all the time. You guys just have to pay attention. I rarely announce them. The only giveaways, the only giveaways, and I'm pretty sure this is 100% true. The only giveaways that I announce are the ones with Ebates or like if a brand really wants it to be announced. But usually when like a brand tells me they want to host a giveaway, I'm always like, well, I like to keep these secret. So if you want to provide a prize, it's cool, but I don't want to be like, giveaway, you know, <laughs> in the video. Um, anyway, so all of that to tell you that I don't know if I'm gonna go to Target right now because I don't have my Target red card with me. And I usually pay with the app, but I think if you're gonna make a return, I don't know if you can do it without the card. Because they've had some issues. They're trying to be super like digital friendly with the whole app thing, but I've run into some problems, so I think I just should just carry the card around with me. Anyway, I'm gonna park right now at my P.O. Box because I have to mail those giveaway prizes and I'm gonna ask. Since I need to get down anyway, I just thought I would ask and be like, yo, what up? Coffee Break with Danny P.O. Box? I'm the annoying lady that never picks up her mail and you have to put it on a little cart for me. Sorry about that. Can I bother you one more time? <laughs> All right, you guys, real talk. This is why you can't leave me at Target unattended. I need constant supervision when I'm at a Target store. Um, so before we get into my Target public shaming, um, I went to my P.O. Box and I tried to be cute and like, I forgot my key, <laughs> I have my ID. And um, he was like, nope denied no nope, no access no access for you so that was disappointing i was able to mail my giveaways though so there's that okay so target you guys remember noreen um she does those dessert tables so i hired noreen to do um a couple of treats for my son's hulk party um and she's going to individually wrap them in, cell in cellophane with ribbon so um i just i went down the the rabbit hole of crafting um at target and i got a cake stand and i got this little beverage bucket um, and like 27 packs of rice um, and I thought like I'm envisioning in my mind this display with like the beverage bucket filled with rice and then like a layer of green candy on top and then her treats kind of like stabbed in in theory it sounds like it would work but this is one of those things that could fail miserably and looks ridiculous <laughs> so um, the chicken, the chicken was on its last day before they need to get rid of it. Um, and since I kind of know what to look for with like freshness and things like that, I got like 30 pounds of chicken for like $7. <laughs> it's one of those things where you just have to look for freshness and then you take them home and you individually wrap them and freeze them. And then you have chicken ready to go on deck whenever you need to make chicken soup, chicken marsala, chicken piccata. Spring is officially here, so allergies are like ridiculous. Um, I think you guys, real talk, I think I might be developing allergies, which is so weird because 
Growing up in California, I got to Dallas and I was like, thug life, nothing affects me. And I never got allergies. And finally this year, I noticed because my eyes start to get like really glassy and watery. And if I'm outside without sunglasses, my eyes just start to tear. It's so weird. I've never, like I think of allergies like itchy skin or a runny nose or like sinuses or um, I don't know, itchy and runny nose is what I think, right? Sneezing, um, but my eyes, my eyes burn and they just start running, like the water starts running down my face, it's so weird. Anyway, I have chicken in my trunk. I need to get going because it's already like three minutes until it expires <laughs> and I'm over here sitting in an 80 degree car Okay, you guys, so I was extra basic at Target today, um, and there's this drink that I've been wanting to try because uh, an iced chai latte used to be my, <laughs> I should say iced chai tea latte. <laughs> so I was talking to my friend Veto, she's um, my Indian friend Veto, and um, so apparently chai and tea mean the same thing, like chai means tea. So if you say chai tea latte, you're saying tea tea latte, and it drives her bonkers. So in her honor, I don't say that anymore. I just say chai latte, chai latte. That's what I said, right? Anyway, so I've been wanting to try this drink because the chai latte, an iced chai latte has always been my summer drink. Either that or an Americano, um, an iced Americano with the one Splenda. It's my go-to summer drink, uh, coffee drink, um, but, I heard if you order a dirty chai, they put a shot of espresso in it. So I'm being super basic right now. I'm having an iced chai latte, a dirty iced chai latte. So I get to the counter and I'm trying to be super cute and I'm like, hi, can I have a venti iced chai latte with a shot of espresso? And she's like, iced chai with a shot? And I'm like, oh man. There you go, making it sound so simple. Do you guys ever get nervous ordering at Starbucks? I do. I get like the same stuff every single time and I still get nervous because there's so many different ways of ordering it and every single time I get corrected. Does it happen to you guys where like you order a drink and then they repeat it but they don't repeat it in the order that you ordered it in so you feel like you did it wrong? Yeah, that happens to me every time. I figured I'd get over it by now, but I still haven't. I still get the Starbucks anxiety. <laughs> anyway, heading home. Parker's probably there already, or he's gonna be there soon, um, and then we're gonna figure out the rest of our day. I know he's super tired, and he's probably gonna take allergy medication, which will probably make him even more tired, but we'll see. I need to individually wrap all that chicken and stuff my freezer. You guys, just here for a check-in. It's almost six o'clock, I'm hangry. Guess who is with me? Look at that. Oh, 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 snap. All right, so here's a scoop. I got home from Target, and this one got home like 30 seconds after me. So I was actually gonna do a little blurb where I show you guys how I prepackage chicken or I portion it out um, and freeze it because I know it's a lot cheaper to get a family or a bulk size. Um, then I'm, I'm having Parker listen to Alejandro Fernandez. <laughs> it's the best. No, Alejandro Guzman. Sorry, Alejandro Guzman. I'm thinking about the boy. Um, so yeah, I was gonna do that, but then Parker got there and he's like super like Tinker King, master of the universe, and I needed some help doing some stuff and like visioning some things for my Hulk party. So we kind of got caught up on that, and then before I knew it, I was hangry and moody and being mean to Parker. I'm scared. <laughs> Save me. So, we need to talk about something. Y'all know I'm an animal lover. I have like 37 dogs in my house. So, I just witnessed something I had never witnessed before. And it was, first it was three crows chasing an owl and bonking him on the head and like pecking at him. And so he would like fly around like, help me, help me. And then he'd like stop on a roof because I guess he needed a break or something. And then they'd keep like pecking him, but they would like take turns. and. To me, it was personal because that's how I would get bullied. Like, they would take turns, you know? And so, I was like, Parker, turn on your motorcycle, scare them away, you know? Like, do something. And he's like, they're just being animals. So I was like, hmm, wait a minute. So they flew away. I was like, okay, whew, finally. Then I heard them again, and they came back with six crows. Six crows chasing an owl, you guys. What would you have done? Apparently, it's like, 
Mother Nature or whatever. Well, you don't know the whole story. <laughs> you don't know what that owl was doing. You know, to to, to get all that negative attention. You could have been something. He could like break into their house and steal their babies. You don't know what that owl was doing. That owl could deserve everything he was getting. If that owl deserved it, he would have been fighting back. But he was scared. He was ridden with guilt. <laughs> Anyway, we're on our way to two things. We're gonna go to Macho Taco. <laughs> no, we're on our way to this place called Baja Taco. I think it's called Baja Taco. Um, I just see it every time I drive past. Like it's on my way home from every place. And it has a little goldfish holding a margarita. And he's like, you know? So I, I told Parker, I'm like, well, we love tacos. Tacos, tacos is like our love language, right? So we're gonna go check it out because of the happy goldfish. See, logos make a difference, you guys. It's all about branding. Um, and then we're gonna go to Michael's because <laughs> remember I told you guys that I was gonna fill the uh, drink bucket with rice and then just put a layer of green candy over it, like green and purple candy over it. <laughs> Parker's like, I don't just put a piece of like floral foam in there and then stab the candy in and then it won't lean over and it. And I was like. You know, this is this just reminds me of the whole Walmart wreath situation. Like, I love that my boyfriend's good at everything, but I also, it kind of annoys me a little bit. Because usually, like, I'm the friend that gets asked, like, how would you do this? And I'm like, oh, here, duct tape and, you know, a paper clip. That's, like, my thing. Then this one shows up and just shoves me off stage. There goes my talent. Anyway, so floral foam is, is genius, actually. <laughs> so I won't have to waste six pounds of rice. <laughs> and the rice won't get mixed up into the candy. And if I choose to eat the candy later, I can't. So that's going to be our mission. I'm probably going to Amazon some bulk green and purple candy. Or we can go to Winco and see if they have anything. Winco! There. Parker's not in a gang, you guys, I promise. So we're uh, we're gonna go eat tacos right now, and then we're gonna go um, to Michael's. I love Michael's. I wonder if, oh, Michael's has colored candy. Do they? In bags, they really? do. Hmm. hmm, interesting. Anyway, we'll check in later when we have delicious tacos in front of our face. What did I tell you guys? A little goldfish, a margarita, living his best life. So it's almost eight o'clock, we just got home. So a little update on that restaurant. Um, canned beans, jarred salsa, margarita mix, margaritas. So it was good if you're hungry. But if you were like, yeah, I want a really good authentic Mexican restaurant, it's not the place to go. So it's cool. I like that it's like nearby, convenient. It was good, but not life changing. Then, this is where our story takes a turn. We go to Michael's, right? and we find the floral department. So I'm thinking like we have to get these slabs of foam and cut them with a blade and make them fit perfectly. And Parker's like, get that one. And I'm like, it's not gonna fit. He's like, perfect size. And I'm like, you didn't even measure. So we get home. <laughs> we get home and I'm like, I need to see how this thing's gonna work because I, I need to visualize how I'm gonna fix this so that it works better. <laughs> you guys, okay? <laughs> like it literally fits, it's, it doesn't move. It's the perfect size, the perfect dimension, the perfect height. So if I turn it, you see how much space is left? So I, all I need to do now is buy a little bit, like the littlest bit of candy just to cover this top layer and maybe these little nooks around here. The gap is minuscule. You see my finger barely fits in there. So yeah, Parker wins another of his um, genius ideas. 
So yes, the perfect size. And then the other thing we found was, how cool is this? It's a green candle. I already had a number four candle, but it was orange. <laughs> and Parker's like, Hulk isn't orange. I was like, oh, okay, fine. <laughs> so we got this little number four candle. And then I ordered a plain birthday cake because I have this cake topper that I want to use. But then Parker's like, hey, why don't we use this? I know. I'm like giving him credit for all his good ideas where I really just kind of want to steal them myself. So let me show you how this works. This is basically like um, an edible spray. It comes in different colors. We just got green. Um, and I thought that I would spray this over the white frosting that comes on the cake that I ordered. So I'm gonna spray this on some dirty dishes. So you could see how we already kind of did it here on this cutting board. But look how cool this is. Watch. Isn't that amazing? So I thought we could do this on the frosting and it kind of looks like graffiti paint. Isn't that cool? So like the further you get, the smaller it is, the closer you get. Isn't that, so we figured we could just spray the top and it'll look almost like street paint, you know? The moral of the story is Michael's was a huge, 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 What's the opposite of bust? You know, like Michael's was a bust, but what's the opposite? Parker, I need your English. What's the question? Success? Michael's was a success? Yeah. <laughs> His English is worse than mine, you guys. <laughs> anyway, so that's it for today. Friday was awesome, Friday is over. I need to stop touching my camera because look at my finger, oh no. Oh, it's edible though. It tastes like nothing. And now my tongue is green. And it won't come off my finger. <laughs> oh no. So tomorrow, I don't know what we're doing tomorrow. Parker needs new um, shoes for the gym. So we might do that. But honestly, I don't, I don't know what we have going on. We do have to do um, HelloFresh soon. So for HelloFresh, we have um, these quesadillas. Why did I say quesadillas? Quesadillas. <laughs> We have the Juicy Lucy Burger. Remember I told you guys it's like a fancy burger? It has like an onion, um, I don't know, like a onion uh, compote type of thing on it. And then this is the one that I really, really, really wanna try. It's the Figgy Balsamic Pork. So it's like a pork tenderloin with some sort of fig something, plus potatoes. Who doesn't like yummy potatoes? All right, you guys, so this Friday's been real, but for today, I must bid you adieu because I'm tired and I'm sweaty. Um, I have to show you guys something that I've been using, but I don't have the energy to show you today because a lot of you might laugh at me, but tomorrow, tomorrow when I wake up and I'm bright eyed and bushy tailed, I'm gonna tell you all about a sweatband that I've been using. <laughs> but for now, good night, I love you. Hey, Bubble, say good night to your friends. Say good night to your friends. Hey, Wesley, say good night to your friends. Mamern, where's Mamern? Why are you panting? Is it because you were playing fetch with Parker? Huh? Are you playing fetch? Say goodnight to your friends. Everyone, hey, say goodnight to your friends. I love you.
gourmet, very intricate and involved breakfast. It's just probably why we stopped at the gas station to get a few snacks right now. Um, it's almost 11 o'clock, or is it? It's past 11 o'clock. So we are on our way to this place called Allen Premium Outlets. I think if you guys are in like a big city, um, they usually have them in like the outskirts of the big city. Like in Barstow, there's like this very big outlet center. And it's a bunch of bigger brands like, I don't know, Adidas, Nike, Tory Burch, Reebok, that have their own individual like factory stores. And a lot of their stuff is heavily reduced in price. So Parker needs new shoes for the gym and it's the only Reebok store, I believe. Um, plus we have a cool, Coupon. 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 <laughs> it's coupon. <laughs> we have a coupon that we're going to use. Um, so we're looking forward to it. Except, I don't know if you guys can see Exhibit A and Exhibit B right here. It's raining. And it's going to be one of those days where it's like off and on raining a little bit. So I refuse to do anything with my appearance today. Um, but Parker and I match, so that's nice. Um, so we're going to do that. And then maybe go to my P.O. Box, depending on the time, because it's Saturday and they close early. And then, uh, what else? Oh, we might. I'm, I've been like really tired today. I woke up and I was like, I don't want anything to do with Saturday. Um, if we have time and energy, we might track down some bulk candy, uh, green and purple bulk candy. I think I can just Amazon it. But something about shipping food gives me the heebie-jeebies for yeah, some check reason. Out Winco. 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 So Winco is this bulk foods store um, in the city. There's several locations where all the food is in big barrels. You just like scoop it and weigh it, and you put a number on it. It's like, yeah. Um, so we're thinking maybe. But what I was telling Parker is like it's probably one of those places that has like Jordan almonds, gummy bears, jelly beans, but they're all mixed together. You know. If it doesn't, awesome. Um, but yeah, we might track that down. We really don't have anything planned today. The day's not really structured. It's kind of like one of those lazy days. And this weather is not making it any easier to not be lazy or to be productive. So that's it. <laughs> Okay, so we're barely leaving this outlet mall. I honestly forgot how, you guys are looking at my sunglasses, aren't you? I know, just get a good, just take it all in. Just take it all in. These may or may not have just been adopted by me. This one got some new ones too. <laughs> oh my God, okay, the whole plan was we're going to Allen because there's a Reebok store, Parker had a coupon, and they coupon. have, <laughs> They have CrossFit shoes. That was the whole point. We walk into Reebok and there was just this aura of today's gonna be the day where our bank account feels personally victimized by our swiping. So Reebok was 100, everything in the store was 50% off and then shoes were buy one, get one free. Like entirely. It wasn't like buy one, get one half off. Buy one. No, it was like buy one, get one free. Parker got two pairs of shoes, two pairs of shorts, a gym bag. Uh, I think that's it, right? CrossFit. CrossFit shoes. shoes. Regular CrossFit. price are $130. Yeah, expensive. They never go on sale, ever. He, he was like, really? What, are you sure? He's like, I bet they're excluded. I was like, look, the signs were right next to the CrossFit shoes, so when I get to the to the counter, they're gonna be one by one, get one free. It's funny because if, if that happens to me, I won't say anything. I'm like, meh, but if it's someone that I'm with, I'm like, go get them. So anyway, we walked out and we were like, dang, that was an amazing deal. So we keep walking. All of the stores for some reason had amazing sales. Banana Republic, like six or seven shirts, a denim jacket, less than $200. The boys, I walked into a Gymboree store and you guys know a uh, Gymboree is going out of business. I got all of their shorts for spring and summer. How much did I spend there? 
What, uh, 200? 100, 170. 100, no, uh, 100, like 110 bucks. It's in the trunk. But I mean, there, there's two boys. So of every short, every short, I got two and I got like four or five different styles. Um, Gap, Baby Gap. I got two little polos for each of them. It was $20. It was just one of those days. But this was my favorite purchase. Anyway, we were there for a lot longer than we needed to be. We got here at 11.30. It's two o'clock right now. And all day, you guys, I have been so hungry. Um, do you remember yesterday when, when I told you that Tomorrow when I wake up, I'm gonna tell you guys something. Um, I think the time is is appropriate to tell you now. So just it's gonna get it's gonna get real for a second. Do you see this? This is not underwear. This is a sweatband. Okay, so let's throw up the judgment-free zone, safe zone filter, friend filter. Um, I know I'm skinny and I don't have self-image or confidence issues. However, homegirl knows where she's lumpy, and I'm lumpy on the love handles, and that's something that no matter what I eat, if I go for a walk, if I work out, I can't get rid of it. And I think it's just because that's where it likes to settle. So it's always been like my, I don't know how to say it in English, but in Spanish is mi coco, it's like my coco, it's the, it's like my annoying part of my body, and so, when I was like 20 until 25, I used to waist train, but not like waist train with um, those girdles with boning in them, because I think those are dangerous if you use them for a long time. Um, it was like neoprene type of waist training. So when I was pregnant with my two kids, I did the same thing, waist training. So I always had some sort of belly support. So anytime that I'm wearing Spanx or any sort of support or um, compression type clothing, I just feel really comfortable, I'm used to it. So I need to wear a bathing suit for our one year anniversary. And I wanna look like one year anniversary celebration worthy. This one thinks I'm bananas, especially because I'm wearing this moisturizer that smells like Tiger Balm. <laughs> He's like, what's that smell? I'm like, don't worry about it, don't ask any questions. Some Do you love me? <laughs> fire, like all in my sinuses, it's bad. It's like, oh. like you can taste it? Yeah. <laughs> anyway, when we get home, I'll show you the band that I'm using. It's actually a really good one. It's called Sweet Sweat. I know, gross. But um, I wanna try it out. It's not like the one that I used to use when I was younger or when I was pregnant. Those I would get from Mexico. Um, They're a different style. This one is black and it's lined with neoprene on the inside. Um, but it has really great reviews and it was $24, I think. So I wanna try it out for maybe a month when I'm home, when I'm running errands, when I walk the dog, when I am cleaning the house, you know. Not necessarily in all the time, although I did try to wear it to sleep last night. <laughs> you guys, anyway, uh, this is a good man over here. <laughs> Judgment free zone engaged all the time. Um, so I'll have to update you guys in a, like a secondary vlog down the road where I'm like, I lost one inch of sweat. <laughs> so that's it. I'll show you guys when I get home what it actually looks like because there's this like big logo on the front and I hate that it's black. The um, ones that I used to use that I would order from Mexico uh, were like a skin tone color so you could totally get away with wearing them with a white t-shirt or black t-shirt or any sort of clothing. Can we talk about my sunglasses for a second? Look at that. <sighs> Oh snap! Anyway, um, that's the story of our lives. We are heading, hopefully, in the direction of food somewhere, um, and then to have a lazy day, I hope. We didn't do the candy, we didn't do the SD card. It's a lot of day left, though. We didn't do a nap. It's only two o'clock. Good time. That's true. All right, so we'll check in later. Hopefully, the next time you see us, there's gonna be a lot of carbs in my mouth.
you guys. So it's a little over seven o'clock. Um, I'm here for my shameful check-in with my sleepy voice. So we got home and uh, Parker steamed all of his clothes that he bought at Banana Republic. Um, and I was like, oh man, I just can't shake it. I can't shake it. I'm tired. I can't shake it. I can't shake it. I can't shake it. So I made the mistake of like just laying down for a little bit that turned into a nap and now it's seven o'clock and I'm starving and I shouldn't have napped so late. I think I fell asleep around five maybe. I was just supposed to be watching a movie. Anyway, I woke up with a ton of energy and I thought I would show you guys um, how I package or freeze um, like family size portions of poultry. So I'm a big fan of buying discounted meat. <laughs> I should put that on a t-shirt. I love discounted meat. Um, I think um, it's significantly cheaper um, and they have a sell by date that they have to honor, which doesn't mean much on the uh, meat itself or the protein itself if you're going to handle it in a specific way like portioning out and freezing it. So um, I just buy whatever I find that is on sale, whether it's thighs or legs or breasts. For me, I don't like to prepare or handle meat a lot more than I need to. Um, I'd rather just cook it as is. Um, so I tend to go for things like pre-sliced chicken breast or just drumsticks or thighs without the skin on them, stuff like that. So like skinless, boneless thighs, I just throw them in the crock pot with barbecue sauce. Boom, it's done. You know, uh, legs, um, like chicken legs or drumsticks, I throw them in, in stock with cilantro and zucchini and carrots and I make caldo de pollo or chicken soup. Um, chicken breast, I like it sliced, pre-sliced because it cooks very, very thin and you could use it for chicken parmesan, for chicken marsala, for chicken piccata. Uh, pre-sliced chicken breast is like the way to go for people that like to cook at home but don't have like the 35 minutes to wait for a whole fat chicken breast to be done and then it's overcooked and it's dry and it's gross. So, um, that's the only way that I found the chicken today. So I'm gonna show you guys what I do before I package and freeze it. So basically what we're gonna do is we're going to take these three packages of meat and we are going to break them down into like a small family of four, let's say. Um, and I'll show you what I do in advance. But for that, you need a couple of things. You'll need a cutting board, um, your chicken. I like several sizes of bags. It really depends on how long I think it's gonna be in the freezer or if I don't know how long it's gonna be in the freezer. Um, these these are really cool too. They're portion bags. So basically like for when I just want to cook for myself, they're good to have. So you, you basically package them within a package and you just kind of reach in and get the one breast. Um, freezer bags. So if I don't know how long they're going to be in there, these are really handy. If I'm going to use them like in a week, these are not so thick and they don't get that like uh, refrigerator smell on them. And if you guys are wincy with, um, protein or handling raw meat, having gloves is, is convenient. I don't necessarily mind. I just don't like getting the chicken juice on the outside of the bag. Um, and then a Sharpie so we could write what's on the bag. After food's in the freezer for a while, it starts all to look the same. So it's cool to label it. It's also cool to write the date if you need to. Um, and then we're gonna need a Wesley for sure and a really sharp knife. Okay, so this package right here, I'd like to open it just to see how many thighs are in here, but from the looks of it, it looks like there's eight. So for us, that would be two portions for me and the boys. But so let's say that Parker would be here. I cook the whole pack, but it's a lot easier to separate eight thighs thawed than to try and separate them, freezing them all together in one big block. So it's important to consider that as well. Um, in this container, uh, let's see, we have probably 16 to 18 drumsticks. So for us, that would be three to four servings for me and the boys. And again, we'll separate it into smaller packs and then defrost two if we need to. And then in the breast, we have six breasts, but when it's just me and the kids, we do two. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you guys how I do the chicken breasts. Ideally what you do is you do whole breasts for shredding, you do cubed for like a stir fry or a saute, and then we can do slicing for like Parmesan or Marsala or Piccata or any sort of 
thinly, um, like a thin steak of chicken that you need. Um, I don't use the cubed as much as I'd like or the shredding. So what I'm going to do is I'll do two thinly sliced and then maybe this one I'll do in strips, almost like tenders, um, in case I need to bake them or I want them to cook faster. If I wanted to do a stir fry, then it's already in strips and all I have to do is cut it um, lengthwise. So let me eyeball here how many bags I'm gonna need. So it's gonna be two, four, six. Okay, so the next step is important because we don't wanna handle bags, gloves, Sharpies, and any of that stuff with chicken juice. Chicken, raw chicken is known to contain salmonella, which is a bacteria that makes you very, very sick. I mean, you end up in a hospital, similar to like E. coli. So you wanna be very, very careful that you don't contaminate your surfaces, you don't contaminate things pre or post-production. So what we're gonna do is we'll take a couple of big bags because those will be um, for the drumsticks and we'll pre-label them in advance. So we'll do drumstick. And then normally I would use small bags like this for the chicken breast, but I'm gonna show you guys why sometimes it's useful to use plastic. There are some reusable plastic bags you can use. There's also hacks you can do with like wax paper or parchment paper so you can reduce your waste. I'm basically just showing you guys the easy way. We all have Ziplocs at home that will help us make our life easier. So I'll show you guys sort of like a mom hack. If you guys work, have long hours, and you forgot to take food out of the freezer, this is really gonna save you guys in a pinch. So, breast fillets. on all of them. And then you guys can do the cutting later once you defrost your food if you needed to. But breast fillets usually are the way to go with any sort of dish that you need to make. Okay, so it's very important that you clean as you go. So I know I'm not gonna need these anymore. I also know that I'm not gonna need these anymore or the pre-portioned size um, bags. So we'll put all of that away. I'm actually not going to use gloves today because I feel it's important that you handle your food really with your hands. Um, so I'm gonna put those away and then I'm gonna make room for all of these bags. Okay, so you wanna have a really sharp knife or scissors or something to stab the packaging with. You also wanna have a drop zone really close by so that you don't get any of that chicken juice in your kitchen. So we'll start off with the easy packages first and that's going to be the thighs and the drumsticks. We'll pierce the package. Peel back really carefully, and sure enough, we do have the eight thighs. So for me and the boys, if you kind of open up a thigh, that's about as much as one of my kids would eat. So look for your bag that says thighs. And you kind of put it in the same little position that they are in this container, just so you don't have to handle them too much. This other one here says thighs as well. Oh look, we have a secret thigh. We have a little sneaker in here. So if you had a kitchen scale, this would be a good opportunity for you to bust it out and kind of half it out. So you make sure that there's half in each bag. Does it matter? Not really. I mean, does one thigh that's this big actually make a difference? Not in my book. Okay, so the thighs are ready. My trash can's literally right next to me. So all I do is go open can. It opens automatically because we're bougie like that. <laughs> do you guys see Martin in the background? Okay, then we're gonna move on to the drumsticks. We'll pierce that package just like we did before. Divide them into fives, and then we're gonna have our little rogue drumstick. But as you can see, the size discrepancy is pretty big. You have this little guy here, and then you have this really big one. So just kind of keep that in mind. Um, so we'll do the big ones. Here is um, a bag for the drumsticks. So we'll do three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Here's another bag for drumsticks. And you notice how carefully I'm being so that I'm not getting any of that chicken juice on my counters. And then we'll do the rest of the chicken in, an, in the last drumstick bag. Open can. So that this food isn't hanging out 
in the temperature danger zone, we're gonna make sure we seal it up, take out all the air and put them in the freezer before we get started on the breast because that's gonna take us a little bit longer. In order for me to do that, I'm gonna wash my hands first. So for the thighs, you see that we lined them up at the bottom of the bag really nicely. So they're actually gonna keep their form, stay juicy and defrost the, just the same. They'll probably freeze even faster. Um, depending on the shape of the meat that you're trying to freeze is how you're gonna put it in the bag. Um, I would prefer to use smaller bags. I just didn't have the um, quart size freezer bag. The plastic for the regular bag versus the freezer bag is very different. So here's another thigh. You can either roll it up and then squeeze the air out or you can squeeze the air out and then zip it shut. That made no sense whatsoever, you guys, but you know what I'm saying. You want to make sure you remove all that air. Every time I see someone close a Ziploc without shutting out the air, it makes me cringe so hard, you guys, I can't even explain it. I'm like, all that air they're keeping in their food. Oh my God, that's disgusting. So you want to always, 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 if you are going to use freezer bags, any sort of plastic, squeeze out all that air. It's so important. Two more and we're done and then we can move on to the chicken breast. All right, you guys, we're moving on to the chicken breasts. There are six whole breasts in this package. So I like to, even though I'm only gonna cut one at a time, I like to take them all out first um, because I feel like it takes it out of that juice that it's sitting in that's really getting kind of stale. So take out all the breasts, make room for you to work. Open can. Okay, so when handling chicken breasts, it's important that you know or you're familiar with the structure. Um, these already have the tender removed, so I'm guessing they sold it in a different kind of pack. Usually there's like a little tender here. That's what certain restaurants like Cane's uses, or when you go to a restaurant and order tenders, there's an actual piece that flops right out of the breast here that's called the tender. So these I will probably cut into two fillets. So you see there's always like a little piece, a little flap. I don't waste it because I'm not trying to make my food look pretty. I just want it to cook fast. So make sure your knife is really, really sharp and you're gonna go in on an angle. So I'm left-handed. I'm gonna go in, cut it in even thickness. And you can either leave it like this, like a butterfly breast, or just go all the way through and then you have one nice filet and then the little ratchet filet, <laughs> the one with the little lump. So remember, two breasts per bag. So we're gonna move on to this next one. It's gonna be a little confusing because you'll see me cut some face up or face down. So this one, we're gonna do face down. And I'm using my hand to hold it down so that I don't cut myself. So you have your pretty filet with a little rogue piece, and then you have your little ratchet filet. Save all those pieces, especially if you don't know what you're gonna use the breast meat for. You could just add it into a stir fry. So here's another one. This one's actually quite nice. They did a very good job at filleting this breast. So the choice is yours since there's no flap. Um, I'm just gonna go in this way because it's easier to hold down. Be careful with your cutting board. Ideally, you don't want your cutting board to move because that's how a lot of accidents happen. So if you get a paper towel and you get it damp, put it under your cutting board and then the cutting board won't slide around. So we have one breast slice here and one filet here. This one, I would even go as far as to cutting it one more time because it's still kind of thick. But I might use this for stir fry and so I want it to be a little meatier so it stays juicy. So we're gonna leave it alone and put it in here. Just make sure you remember that's the thick, the thick steak bag so that you can make a little annotation on the bag if you wanted to. So let's cut this one this way. This cutting board was on the stove, so it warped a little, and now it tries to betray my love. We're gonna do it one more time. If you need to peek and see how you're doing, you can also do that. Take your time, go slowly. You're using a knife. A knife is dangerous. Respect the knife and you won't get hurt. So these steaks here are actually also pretty thick. 
So we'll put that in that same bag. And then we have two more and we are finished. Okay, so here's the busy mom hack that I was telling you guys I was gonna teach you. So a lot of us come home from work, we're super tired and we forgot to defrost food, we forgot to get food ready and we need to have it ready in 15 to 20 minutes and it's totally possible. So what you would do is you would fillet your breast this way and you would buy in bulk at Costco, you would save that money um, and you would freeze it this way. So when you take it out of the freezer, it comes out like this like a block, a nice, flat, thin block. And you can defrost this under running water in the sink in a bowl of water. Um, if it takes a little bit longer than needed, you can also start using sort of room temperature to warm water because you're gonna cook it immediately. So you don't have to be so worried that it's in that temperature danger zone. Um, another easy hack about this bag is if you wanted to bread your chicken, if you wanted to throw some shake and bake in here, it's already in a bag. If you wanted to do sort of like veal scallopini or, um, like chicken scallopini, all you need to do is take out your meat mallet and you bang inside the same bag that it's already defrosting in. So make sure that you take your chicken breast, you lay them flat, as flat as you can, the way that you cut them. So you wanna make sure they're as flat as absolutely possible, just like that and then you're gonna roll it, and this is only to take out all the air from the bag. So make sure you find that spot where it locks in. A lot of times with Ziplocs, I think I'm zipping it and I'm not at all, and then I, everything just gushes out. Okay, then roll it back out again, and you have your breasts nice and flat and that's how you're gonna lay them in the freezer so you can stack them if you wanted to um, and you just make sure that it's a single layer you can do this as well with the drumsticks you could do it as you know with any meat that you're putting in there the thighs drumsticks steaks um, you freeze them in a single layer the problem with that is with food that has like an odd shape like drumsticks it's a lot easier to get air in between the bones and stuff. And so you're more likely to get that freezer smell or taste on your food if you're not using those um, special bags that suck the air out of the bag. So if you have a little bit of too much space in here with food that's an odd shape like a drumstick, you wanna make sure you're gonna use it right away because if you don't use it right away, it's gonna compromise the flavor or the smell of your food. So again, make sure it's as flat as it can be before it's going in the freezer. And then put it all in a single layer in your freezer. And when you come home and you forgot to defrost food, don't worry, it's gonna totally help you out. All right, you guys, so it's almost eight o'clock and guess who woke up from a nap and now is hungry? That's right, the pea. So we are going to bust out a HelloFresh pre-packaged, easy to prep meal for you guys. And we're gonna get fancy in the kitchen at almost eight o'clock. You know what, we're gonna live our best life because uh, it's Saturday and that's what wild middle-aged couples do on a Saturday night in this pistachio colored sweatshirt. This portion of this video is sponsored by HelloFresh, which I'm excited to be working with again. Um, it's been a hot minute and you guys keep asking me about it. So what we're gonna do is we're going to prepare one of their 30 minutes or less meals. I'm very excited. Don't forget that you get fresh seasonal menus and food pre-packaged delivered straight to your door. It's as easy as like classic meals, uh, veggie, you can do meals for two. Sometimes the menus are really cool because you can go from dinner to lunch. So it shows you how to sort of repurpose your leftovers and take it to work the next day. So it's really, really convenient. Today we're going to do a pork tenderloin, which I'm super excited about. But you know what? If your kids don't like figgy pork tenderloin, there's also family friendly classic menus that all of the members of your family would enjoy, even the Mern. So today we're gonna do that together, but I wanna show you guys how um, everything comes prepackaged. I'm sure you guys remember, but we're gonna show it to you again. Um, and then I'll show you guys the final product. Keep in mind that 
all of these recipes come in six easy steps with tools that you have in your home already. For example, so today we're gonna do the figgy balsamic pork. It shows you guys at the bottom. You wanna preheat that oven so that you're not waiting for your stuff. Um, it shows you the basic ingredients at the bottom. So if you're unfamiliar with certain things like fig jam or shallots, it's going to sort of give you a more well-rounded view on um, new ingredients, which is kind of cool. It forces you to try new things, you guys. Um, then it tells you here under bust out the stuff you're going to need. So everyone has like baking sheets, paper towels, stuff like that. Um, it's also going to give you your your list of ingredients and portion size and here you go your six easy steps you guys want to know a secret most of the time these recipes are so easy that I just kind of glance over the menu the way it says it's done and then I just kind of wing it and I have yet to mess up a recipe the other thing you can do is actually hold on to these and then use this as inspiration for future meals that you guys do don't forget that you have options you can go from classic to veggie to family size and the menus vary you can go in you have a lot of control over the menu that you decide you could do 20 minute meals you could do one pot wonders you could do um, the dinner to lunch conversion menu which is kind of cool especially if you like leftovers um, and you don't have to stick to that one plan you can bounce around so obviously because this is in partnership with HelloFresh there's going to be a promo attached to this awesome demo um, if you guys use the code coffee Coffee break 80 you're going to get $80 off your first month of deliveries that means $20 off every week of deliveries food delivered to your door in prepackaged bags I mean you really don't have to think about much except having an oven and like a cookie sheet ready it's really awesome so do you guys want to get started all right you guys so the last little demo before I insert my amazing super cool music is I'm gonna show you guys how everything comes in this bag so all your protein will come at the bottom of the box nice and chilled and this is what one portion would be one portion for two people so I ordered the family size and then you get your little pre-labeled bag so you know which bag to reach for when you look inside everything is in there labeled correctly it's fresh it's delicious and ta-da! so what we have in here are the green beans so if you were to order the bigger size like I did, you could actually divide this in half again and have two separate meals. But if you're gonna do that, knead it twice, cook it once kind of thing, right? So we have our green beans, we have our fresh rosemary, we have our two little containers of balsamic vinegar, then we have some delicious figgy jam, the chicken broth or chicken broth concentrate, we have our little potatoes. I don't know if this is gonna be enough for two portions because this is how many potatoes I would eat. Sorry, Parker. Um, and then we have shallots. I never use this many shallots, this much shallot. I never use this much shallot. Shallot is like an onion on steroids. It is extremely, extremely pungent. So just cut one and if you can still smell it, if it's a little sharp, then don't need to use the rest of it. So that's just my little side tip. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get everything prepped and ready to go. This recipe is awesome because basically all we have to do is sear the meat and make the pan sauce. Everything else goes in the oven. You finish cooking the meat in the oven, you roast the potatoes in the oven, everything is going to take place in the oven, which is why you heard my oven beep, because it's already preheated and ready to go. I have a saute pan that's on the stove already heating up. So basically all I have to do now is the prep work for the onions and then um, open everything else.
All right, you guys, here we have the figgy balsamic pork. How beautiful is that sauce? When we were in culinary school, it was always like a really satisfying meal when you had a shimmery sort of glistening um, sauce like this one. So you can see the sheen, it's perfectly coats the pork tenderloin. The green beans are beautifully roasted and you can tell because they're still very bright green. And it's a really good portion size. So you can see it's a very generous helping. We still have all of these leftovers. Um, and it's a very great balance between protein, your meaty greens, and then a small portion of carbohydrates. How delicious does that look? All right, you guys, the moment of truth. We are finally done. <sighs> time for the taste test. Just kidding, I already tasted it. It's really good, but I have to show you guys how delicious it is with my facial expressions. Honestly, you guys, you could put vinegar, balsamic vinegar, and fig on shoes and I would eat them. But I really like this meal because it's one of those things that you wouldn't normally think to serve for your children, but they're willing to try because it's chicken. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> anyway, this is amazing. I'm gonna enjoy my dinner with my boyfriend, but don't forget, that if you want fresh food, seasonal menus delivered straight to your door, all you have to do is enter promo code COFFEEBREAK80 with the link in the description box below to get food delivered to your door as affordable as $6.99 per serving. Are you ready to taste it? Okay. You guys, Parker has been so good. He's so quiet in this video. Like you wouldn't even know he's here, but we'll see if he likes it. A big manly bite. That's a love one of this meal. <laughs> Oh man, that sauce is really good. Yeah. It really brings out the flavor. And it makes cook just right. <laughs> Thank <flavorful>. you. Yes. <laughs> what do you think, Mern? Did you like your meal? She's like, this sucks. Where's my HelloFresh? Sunday here for a little bit of a late check-in. Okay, who are we last night? This morning we get up and Parker and I are watching my stories and everyone's like, bachelorette party, I'm at the club. You know, limo, party, limo, whatever. And I was like, we were cooking dinner at nine o'clock. <laughs> so we had a wild night. Needless to say, we got up around 7.30, which for us is like, <laughs> we're wasting our life. Um, we just went on a little motorcycle ride. Um, we had to bring it back and then get the bigger truck because Parker's letting me borrow some tables for the big Hulk smash extravaganza. But I have come to Parker's house three times now, three times since the new carpet installation and I never see it. Like I've never seen it. I haven't seen it. I haven't gone upstairs. I haven't seen any of it. So you and I, all of us, we're gonna see the carpet for the first time together. I don't know why I'm doing all of this. <laughs> I've missed you guys. Do you want to go see it? Bum, bum, bum. Wait. <laughs> I literally froze like a child. Boom, boom. You guys ready for this? Oh my God, look, it's so pretty. I didn't think it was gonna be this color. It looks so different once it's installed. So Parker showed me like the little, the little piece you buy. Um, and I was like, yeah, it's, it's nice. But look how fluffy it looks. It looks so much fluffier than the carpet swatch. All right, let's do this. Ooh, it's, it's nice. Should I have taken off my shoes? Am I, am I putting footprints? Is this hurting your heart? Oh, wow. It does change color. It totally, it look how taupe it looks up here. And look how gray it was down there. Oh man, look at that. I love how new it looks. <laughs> oh my God, you guys, you ready for some wife porn? That's pretty. Totally matches the wall paint, look at that. Look how cute this is. <laughs> Okay, you guys, so I really hope you appreciated that um, MTV Cribs 
carpet update for you guys. Um, a little unnecessary, but you know what? Like I said, I got excited about cooking dinner at nine o'clock. I get excited about new carpet. I get excited about carpet streaks. So, or vacuum streaks. Ooh, carpet streaks, I could, mm, let's just move on. run but we got hungry so we're at this place it's really extravagant it's very fancy and we're gonna show you what it is it's called pollo regio or as parker likes to call it uh polo regio <laughs> it's gonna be so good because they have that green salsa do i get to work with that little chicken Oh my God, you guys, that was delicious. You know when you're like thinking, hmm, today I kind of want to eat X, Y, and Z, and then you eat it and it totally hits the spot. I woke up today and I told Parker, man, I kind of want to eat Pollo Regio today because they have this like green salsa. I don't know how they make it creamy. I know it's a cilantro salsa, but it's really spicy. Pretty sure it has serrano notes in it. So good. Like when you like, you have a runny nose and it's like dripping down your nose into your lips and you just can't stop eating. It was like that. It's one, it's almost 1.30. At two o'clock I have to meet Noreen to get some um, treats for my son's Hulk birthday celebration extravaganza. Um, she's making some Rice Krispie treats and like pretzels and then individually wrapping them, making them look super cute. So we have to meet her in about 30 minutes. So we're just gonna mosey on out of here and get some treats and then take a nap no we're not gonna take a nap today that kind of ruined our afternoon yesterday um, we still have to go to the grocery store mm -hmm. we went to Winco you guys Winco is amazing if you have a Winco nearby you need to go to a Winco because Winco just changed our lives but we needed to do this so we couldn't get any of the cold stuff but man, that grocery store is awesome. I know you guys are wondering why I haven't put my seatbelt on. Uh, I'll find you guys. Winco is awesome. I told you guys we were gonna go to it. It's like a bulk grocery store, but it's also a grocery store. Like it's a full service grocery store with a deli, a meat department, uh, a bakery. Um, it has bulk foods. I found this package of chips for my boys that just has blue and red Doritos. That's what we call them at my house. Blue and red Doritos and Cheetos, like the best ones. And then what else did we find? Oh, we found bulk purple and green candy for the little treat bucket we're going to do. So that's cool. I'll show you guys when we get home, but right now, um, I'm the navigator. So I need to pay attention. Just kidding. I'm not, I'm never the navigator. Get it, girl, get it. Get it, girl, get it. <laughs> get it, get it, girl. Oh, <gasps> all the bubbles. All the bubbles.
Where are those bubbles? <gasps> Where are the bubbles? Did you run out of soap? Where are those bubbles? Oh, <gasps> there they go. There they go. Where are your bubbles? Slowing down on you, huh? We need more soap in there? Need more and more soap? guys just here for a super quick check-in because we're kind of enjoying the day so we got home from picking up those treats with Noreen and now it's a beautiful day it's like 80 degrees hence this you guys I'm trying to pre tan before Mexico I'm taking all the help I can get I mean it's such a good day even the double took off his card again you know <laughs> look at Mern you guys get it girl get it girl where's your pool get in your pool oh that is a nice pool oh my goodness Oh, look at that. She probably doesn't remember she was rescued, huh? She was like, I was made for this life. Oh, goodness. Do it again. Do it again. Oh, my goodness. It's so much fun. It is so much fun. Where'd you go, Mern? Get it. Get it. Get it, girl. Get it, girl. So pretty, girl. There's my pretty girl. So Parker's getting his girl ready because he's going to meal prep. And then these two, this is their extent of their participation in outdoor activities. Sunbathing. Sunbathing, that white delicious fur. I'm actually trying to sanitize these pillars. Um, if you guys have dogs that mark, this is one of the best inventions ever on the planet. It is amazing. I let them pee. Like I let them live their best life. We hardly are ever out here. So when it's raining or it's hailing or it's like wannabe snowing, I let them mark. They usually don't, they usually go out into the backyard, but when they do, I use this to clean it up. It smells so good, it smells almost like fabric softener, and they don't mark on there anymore. But if it rains heavily, it kind of gets removed and you have to do it all over again. But these guys really don't seem to mind it. it smells really, really good. Anyway, so that is it for right now. I don't know what we're gonna do later. It's Sunday, I don't know what time it is, but we're definitely gonna be enjoying this delicious weather and um, this amazing tentative tan. Just kidding, it's not really a tan, but we're doing the best we can. Okay, you guys? So Parker's meal prepping, but we have to do dinner at some point, so maybe we'll do another HelloFresh. You guys, look at my manicure. I need to take care of this today. Um, maybe we'll do HelloFresh, maybe we'll do Favor, maybe we'll grill something, I don't know, but y'all get to witness whatever shenanigans we get into. I love you. I'm always like complaining about Dallas weather and I'm like Dallas spring is the worst because you get all four seasons in one day Do you remember like five seconds ago that we were out here like sunbathing trying to get our Mexico tan on look at this It's raining. It's like hardcore raining. What the heck? <laughs> Leslie Leslie Did you almost drop it? It's okay, grill it, then it kills off all the germs. Oh, we're definitely gonna grill it. <laughs> hey you guys, happy Wednesday. Okay, so a few days have gone by since we last checked in or we did a vlog, um, but I realized my vlog's not done. You haven't said goodbye. You haven't updated your pandas on anything. What the heck happened Sunday? Who knows, right? Okay, so we're gonna talk about it right now. And I thought I would also share my outlet haul with you guys. It's nothing for me, really. It's just some clothes I got from my boys. And I figured if there's any way to find it for you guys or maybe link it, I'll do that too. Um, but otherwise, PSA, Jimboree is going out of business. So they have a lot of really cute stuff. 
um, for a fraction of the price. So that's what we're going to talk about today. I have my little tripod ready so I could show you guys the haul in a very professional manner, even though I'm sitting on the ground and wearing no makeup and probably wearing the same t-shirt you've seen in the last like two vlogs. But that's okay because we're all friends here. Engage the judgment-free zone uh, right now, permanently, for the history of my channel. That would be nice. <laughs> all right, you guys. So the thing we left off on was Sunday. Beautiful day. We got home. We grilled. Uh, we meal prepped. We just had a really relaxing day. Mern got to play in her pool all afternoon with bubbles. Um, and we were like, oh man, Sunday, right? Sunday means Mondays around the corner, back to the routine. You guys, that night was a horrible storm. I mean, like crazy torrential downpour, hail, insanity, completely crazy. And then these last few days, um, I had a couple of meetings and things to do on Monday. And then yesterday, Sophia and the double had um, uh, a vet appointment. They had to get an update on some of their vaccinations um, because they will be getting boarded um, in the next few months, in March, in May, in June. And so I wanna make sure they're always up to date because you can't board dogs that aren't current on their shots, right? Anyway, so yesterday, the double had a horrible reaction to one of his shots. Um, he was shivering more than usual because he's a chihuahua. Um, he had a fever. He was very lethargic, and he was really, um, like, tender to the touch. Like, he didn't even want you to look at him without shrieking bloody murder. Like, he was in massive, massive amounts of pain. So... I'm gonna have to talk to his vet about that now because I think what's happening is he's so little and he's so old that he's just getting to that point in his life where any sort of anything is a big deal um, for a little dog like him. Um, where is he anyway? Bull Bull. Oh my God, you guys, look. <laughs> Did you know he was there? <laughs> he was, <laughs> what up, my boy? Oh, la cosita. Were you right behind me? Were you right behind your mama? Oh my goodness. Ay, cosa de mi cielo, perrito guapo. Ay, cara, mi perro más guapo de todo el mundo. Ay, que sí. Ay, que sí, mi perrito perfecto. Dile sola. Dile sola a tus amigos. Say, oh my God, yesterday I was so sick. I was so sick, but today I'm all better. All better. Oh, better. Oh, 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 man. Are you sneezing in my face? Hey, hey, don't come push him away. I know what you do with your majestic cinnamon rolls. You come over here with your charm, and you weasel your way in, and you push him. Don't do that, okay? Don't do that. Be nice. Be nice. I know. I know. Okay, you guys, let's talk real stuff. So I ordered this ring on um, Ball Bar. Um, I mean... It's gorgeous, right? First of all, it's extremely, insanely uncomfortable. Second of all, I didn't want it for that finger. I ordered a size six because my ring finger is a five, around a five and a half. It really depends on the style. So like if the band is really thin, I could fit into a five, five and a half. If the band is thicker, then it's closer to a five and a half, five and three quarters kind of thing. Anyway, the point of saying that is I just assume that if I got a six, it would be perfect for my middle finger. Well, I don't know if you guys can tell, but the like metal is actually quite thick, so it takes up quite a lot of the room, um, and it doesn't fit in my middle finger. Like it doesn't fit at all, even cute or remotely or a little bit. So Bobble Bar's return policy is pretty whack attack. Um, they basically send you jewelry with um, those plastic tags and a little paper tag hanging that says, if this isn't attached, you can't return it. Um, well, that little plastic tag was one of those that has bumps all over it. You know, you kind of like click in and it has bumps so that it measures to like the length of how big they want the plastic loop. So that takes up about half a ring size. So in order for me to try it on, I was like, oh, of course it'll fit. Cause look how close it gets to my knuckle. Like it gets right on my knuckle. I figured that would make the difference. So I take it off carefully um, and they can't accept jewelry without that thing attached, which is kind of lame. The other lame thing is they don't do exchanges. They only do returns. So when I bought this sucker, it was 30% off. Now, if I want to get it again in the right size, A, I can't return it, and B, I need to repurchase it without the discount. I know. Anyway, enough about complaining about retailers. So I thought I would wear it today in this like extremely glamorous outfit that I'm wearing. 
um, to see if I could get used to it. But I just don't, I, I don't like it. I don't like the way it feels. Rings are tricky, you know? If a ring is uncomfortable, you guys, my uh, wedding rings were so uncomfortable. Oh my gosh, it took me like a year to get used to wearing them. Um, so you want to make sure if you're going to wear rings, they have to be comfortable. Otherwise, that's no way to live. Like don't go, go buy one of those silicone bands. <laughs> anyway, so let me show you guys what I got for the boys. Uh, we went to one of those um, outlet places. Um, this one is in Allen. It's on Stacy Road. Huge huge outlet center. I mean, it doubled in size from the first time I actually went to that place. So they have outlet stores and they also have uh, regular retail stores, but most of the stores there are really fairly priced. But every time I go to outlets, I don't ever feel like that hysteria that you see from other people that like drive from Oklahoma or from other cities just to hit up those outlets. Like they're, they're in rage mode. They're like, oh my God, this is amazing. I've never felt that hysteria until this weekend that I went with Parker. Parker was able to get two shorts, two uh, sneakers and a gym bag for about $175 Reebok, brand new. Um, normally one pair of the shoes he needs for his gym are about 140 to 150 dollars. So we were like, wait, that's kind of weird. It's, are they having like an extra, extra special sale day or something? Um, so long story short, every store we would walk into, it actually had really fair pricing. So I'm going to show you guys, um, what I got at Baby Gap. Now I know Old Navy, Gap, J. Crew, Banana Republic. All of those umbrella stores, um, they're J brand stores. Um, if it's a factory store, they use different materials and threading from an actual regular retail store. So it's considered lesser quality, but I've shot from both and I've worked for both and it's not so significant where you can actually tell the difference. I think the biggest and the most dramatic difference is depending on the material you buy, if you don't take care of it or launder it properly, then you'll see the significant difference. Otherwise, it's not, you can't really tell. So anyway, um, I got the boys um, these little shirts at um, Baby Gap, and I actually spent $23, including tax, on four shirts. So I got them, you guys, <laughs> They're at that age right now, you know I like to dress them the same. I know, it's a problem, but I like to dress them alike. Um, four and seven. They're at that age now where one is too old and one is still too little, and so you can't really match them. They don't make it for siblings without looking a little different. So I have to slowly let go of the idea that I'm gonna dress them the same, even though my poor old son is probably like, enough is enough. <laughs> So I got this t-shirt for my seven-year-old with little dinosaurs on it. It's a really thick, heavy grade cotton too. Cotton. Cotton. That's another word that people just can't get behind. Apparently I say it horrendously wrong. <laughs> Look at this one. How cute is that? So this is for the four-year-old who's obsessed with animals, dinosaurs, the Hulk. Um, but my favorite, this is what helps me hold on to hope, is... Um, this little polo with dinosaurs all over it. How cute is that? Isn't that precious? So they actually had it um, for both of them in, in both of their sizes. I was very surprised, very shocked that I was able to get two polos and two tees from Gap for $23 with tax. Um, that's what, $5 a shirt? That's crazy, right, for Gap? Anyway, I haven't actually shown the boys um, this stuff. I put it away because I wanted to show you guys. <laughs> and I figured that if they saw it, they'd start ripping the tags off and trying to put it on. The place where I was most surprised um, was Gymboree. So Gymboree's going out of business. Not Gymboree the gym, um, like the play and sing, play and music or whatever. Um, Gymboree has like these little play classes for infants and toddlers. That's fine, that's from a different private company, but the actual retailer, clothing retailer, is going out of business and everything is heavily, heavily marked down. Gymboree was one of those stores where I would get my kids their Easter, 
um, picture day and Christmas outfits. That was it because it's pretty expensive and I would wait till they had gym bucks or some sort of promotion or a coupon. I received a coupon in the mail. Otherwise it was like, man, I can't really spend $30 on jeans for my son that's going to wear them for three months. You know, so now with them going out of business, my kids are going to be fly as heck, and I only spent, where's my receipt? Do I have my receipt for this? Um, $110 with tax, but let's see how much stuff we got. Um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 items for $110. Um, they're basically set on shorts for spring and summer, completely set. Um, I'll show you guys some duplicates so that that doesn't take so long, but these shorts in both sizes, you can see the little ones and the big ones, um, both of these were, oh man, I can't even tell you let's see okay so regularly priced are $24.95 I got them for about six dollars so both of them they're set up on their neutrals you guys totally neutrals and I know I, I said I wasn't gonna match them but I mean it just so happened that they had their sizes available but the cool thing is that bottoms are not something that's very matchy matchy you know it's really the shirt so I figured essentials uh, neutral bottoms it's kind of useful, right? Plus, if my seven-year-old doesn't destroy his clothes, it's clothes that my four-year-old can take advantage of. I was a little disappointed that they didn't have my seven-year-old's size. They didn't have very much of it. They really just had a lot of toddler clothes. Everything in that store was like 3T. Everything was for like a three-year-old. Um, I got these jeans. They're way too big for him right now. These are a size eight, but Jimbery does run about one size too big. Um, these are jeans. They're pull-on jeans. The drawstring is functional. Um, and I got them in two different colors. Um, jeans, like a seven-year-old in jeans. I can't tell you how many holes this boy is able to make in denim. Like how? How do you how do you rip denim? Denim's supposed to be denim, you know? <laughs> so these are regularly priced at 26 and we got them for let's see. $8. How cool is that? $8 jeans. Um now, of course, if you go to like a Kohl's, you could get probably a good pair of pants for about $8 if you have um a discount if you have the card or if you have a scratcher um you might get Cole's cash back too but I was like hey my kids are gonna be rocking some gymboree and no one needs to know I paid Cole prices for it you know <laughs> although they are going out of business what does that say <laughs> okay so it's telling you guys they didn't have that much stuff for um my big guy but look at these my boys in like bright neon orange chartreuse like a blue they look so tan you guys <laughs> so tan I love it so we got those we got these comfy ones for like around the house or maybe like over um after like a pool day when you don't really want to be bothered with like starchy or thicker fabrics um I also got these the gray ones so these jersey knit type shorts are regular price 14 um uh, we got them for four dollars um look at these i was really hoping they had these um for both of them but they didn't have these for my seven year old how cool are these aren't they amazing like i just imagine them outside in their little uh flip-flop sandals or whatever probably barefoot let's be honest um just splashing around in these shorts for some reason they're not swim trunks but they just give me like hardcore summer vibes um these two look at these how cool are those? Oh, let me tell you, the camo ones, regular price at 19, and obviously it's like 19.99 or whatever, so it's basically $20. Um, they were $5. So these were five. Um, these were five as well, these little orange ones. How cute are these? These are giving me like hardcore spring vibes or like early summer. Hey, let's go to Six Flags or we can wear these for Easter if it's more of like a casual Easter. Um, and then, Hold your breath. I couldn't resist. These are the wrong sizes. They don't fit them right now, but I am praying that they'll grow into them. I'm gonna make it happen. I will I will bust out my sewing machine that's in my closet currently, and I will alter them so that they could wear these shirts, you guys. <laughs> Tell me this isn't giving you like hardcore baby Tommy Bahama vibes. 
<laughs> Look at the little one. Wait, this is the big one? Oh no. Look at this is the big one. The problem is this is a 5'6", so this will probably fit my seven-year-old now because I told you guys Jimbury runs big. And then this is a 7'8", so it's a lot bigger. But aren't they cute? Could you imagine the little, <laughs> the little button-up collared shirts with little dinosaurs all over them? I know. Super cute. Those were, let's see, dino woven shirt. Those were $9. So those were a little pricier, but regularly they were 26 my kids are never gonna forgive me for doing this on camera, but I couldn't resist because they were super cute and they were $2. <laughs> oh my goodness, look at these little, look at these little underwear. How cute is that? Look, we got some bugs. We got bugs hooking you up with some bugs, like a little bug pattern. And the last pattern we got were some athletic equipment. I would say the B word, but that just seems highly inappropriate considering I'm holding up little boy panties. So that was it for my little boy haul um, from Stacy Premium Outlets, Allen Premium Outlets. I honestly don't know the name, but everything that you guys saw in this video will be listed and linked in the description box below. Even this ring that is driving me bananas. You guys, we keep it real here. Everyone's looking super cute with these rings right now, but no one's talking about how, how very uncomfortable they are. I might just put it on like a chain, like this big medallion instead, or instead of this big medallion, I might just put this little guy here because it's super cute, but like, uh, you know, it's just so crazy. Anyway, so I'm going to try my best to list and link um, all of these products in the description box of this video. So many of you guys left me amazing feedback on the links and the majority of you are like, heck yeah, I need those links. I can't tell you how much money I've spent because of those links. Um, a few of you said you don't even look at the description box. So if you guys can just amuse me by just opening it just so that I, I feel like my work isn't in vain. <laughs> That would be great. Um, anyway, um, the last thing is, if you guys wanna try HelloFresh, don't forget that you can get $80 off your first month of deliveries. That's $20 a week. You guys, if I told you like the honest truth, usually with my meals, I'll cook about 50% of them. The other 50%, I just repurpose the ingredients. Like I use it as inspiration and I'm like, you know what? I want to cook the burgers today so I'm gonna use the ground beef in like a pasta dish and then I'll use the buns and I'll do it like a dessert later where do you guys know that Mexican dessert where you put a lot of butter and then a thick layer of sugar and you broil it in the oven until it gets crispy well the buns that were in that hello fresh were brioche buns if you know about brioche bread you know how delicious it is so thank you hello fresh <laughs> Anyway, if you want to take advantage of that promo, I will have a link in the description box below of this video. Don't forget to use code COFFEEBREAK80 for that awesome discount. But other than that, um, I really hope you guys enjoyed this weekend vlog. It was so nice having you guys along. Um, I know it can be a little routine sometimes, but you know what? I'm trying to include you in like the real day-to-day -day life stuff, and this is what it is. So now I get to wash all this clothes. Do you want to see that? <laughs> Anyway, I love you guys so much, and you know what to do if you found this video useful, entertaining, and learned something. Please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, this coffee break is over. Bye, guys. I'm going to like throw the ring at you guys. I'm going to just throw the ring. <laughs> hey, do you want to say bye? Do you want to say bye? Say bye to your friends. Come here. Tell everyone that you really love them and you appreciate their support and how much they love your cinnamon rolls. Say, I hope you guys are having an amazing spring. This weather is making my allergies so bonkers. Bonkers, bonkers, bonkers. I love you. Say, I love you. Mwah. 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 He's not mad. He just doesn't like, doesn't appreciate being manhandled with my aggressive loving. <laughs>